Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm excited to show you one of my favorite tools that I use for managing my media. And this is a tool called Kino, and it's a fantastic software solution for managing your media, tagging your media, um, so that you can build a library and search for things later. And that's what we're gonna take a look at. I think it's a tool that can really help you with your workflow as well. And yeah, so let's get into it. Kino is a lightweight application available for Mac and Windows that stores metadata about your media in the same location as the files themselves, rather than in a database on a server. This is very handy if you travel and work from portable external storage because your media is searchable as soon as you plug in your drive. All the metadata that Kino extracts from files plus any custom tags you add stay with the files themselves. So if you copy folders or make backups of entire drives, Kino's metadata is copied and backed up too. On the left side of the interface, you can browse all of your connected devices. You can drag any folder up to the workspace area and it shows like a shortcut. I've added my main iPhone video folder here. Selecting any folder will show you the contents of that folder on the right side of the interface. However, if you hit the drill down icon, Kino will show you everything contained in all the subfolders in a flattened view. You can change the type of view from thumbnails to list view and open the media player. In list view, you can modify and add columns if you want to see particular metadata. This is a new folder of iPhone 11 Pro Max video clips I shot recently using the moment lenses. I airdropped these from the phone to my laptop and then copied them to my external storage. I'll tag these before I make a backup and won't delete them from my laptop or my iPhone until the backup is made later. Tagging a clip or a group of clips is as simple as selecting them, right click and selecting tags. From there you can add a custom tag for anything you want. Since these were all shot with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, that's the first tag I'm going to add. I also used the Moment Pro Camera app, so I'll add that too. Now I want to tag a bit more granularly, so I'll select all the clips shot with the Moment 1.33 times anamorphic lens, and I'll add the tag for that. I'll do the same for the clips shot using the Moment wide angle lens. Finally, for now, I'll select everything shot at Dubai Al Fahidi Historical District and tag that as a location. You can go on and add any tags you think you might want to search for later on. Now you can type any single tag in the quick search box and the results will appear. For a more detailed search, I can use the filters. I'll add a tag filter and type moment anamorphic 1.33 times. I can add another tag filter and type in a different tag to narrow down the results even more. You can add any of these filters to help narrow down your results. Because I tag all of my clips once I've copied them to my storage, I can search for anything I've tagged over the years. If I'm looking for clips from the desert, I can just search for desert or Los Angeles or Istanbul and specifically shot on the iPhone 11 Pro Max because I've tagged it. It's easy to then browse directly to any clip file in Finder. All of these clips are shot using Filmic Log V2. I'll open this one in the player. What's cool is I can preview both a camera LUT and a creative LUT directly on this clip. I'll select View and drop the Filmic D-Log V2 LUT on it as a camera LUT. This doesn't permanently modify or affect the clip at all, it's just applying the transform in real time for playback. Another useful feature of Kino is that I can add time-coded markers to a clip. I'll add one here to indicate that the tram is passing at this point in the clip. Now if I switch back to my list view, I can search for tram passing and the clip shows up. 
I can also export markers as stills with or without the selected LUTs. Now for something really cool. By selecting this clip as an example, and this works for a much larger selection of clips also, I can simply right click and send to Resolve. Resolve opens if it isn't already, and I can create a brand new project with the selected media imported. If I switch to the media tab here, you can see not only are my tags carried through, but even that marker I created. There's more going on in Kino, such as some exciting integrations with Frame.io and Archiware that are beyond the scope of this video. You can also easily transcode entire clips or subclips from Kino, with or without LUT if you work with proxies in your workflow or if you need to generate some other format to send to someone else. I've just shown you the features that I use, but hit up the Less Pain Software website to find out more and to download a trial. Kino is available with two licenses, starting at 159 euros for the standard license, including updates for one year, with a renewal of 79 euros if you want continued updates after that. Even if you don't renew, you can continue to use Kino just without updates. You can get all the features and integrations with the Kino Premium license, which is 349 euros for the first year and 169 euros for renewal. There's a comparison of features on the website. If you want to purchase Kino, I've put my affiliate link in the description. Thanks guys for watching. That's it for me for this video. I hope you found it useful. Most people don't really think about how they can manage their media, how they can make more use out of it um, by tagging things. A lot of us just dump stuff on drives and that's it. We don't even know where it is anymore half the time. Um, so yeah, I hope that this has helped you. Um, take a look at Kino, see if it can help you with your workflow. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and check out my website. I've got a lot more stuff going on on there as well. And yeah, until the next video, thanks for watching. See you next time.